where are we going? We're going to Kansas City! Uh, my husband studied in the seminary there, so each year we get to go and spend a whole week there. And on his free time, we like to explore the city, drive around, which is very nice. So sit tight, relax, and enjoy the ride. See you in Kansas City. Couch. We're gonna make some sleep on the couch. Oh, that's cute. And we got. Where's Cracker Cracker Bear? Right there. Oh, we can't see, but Cracker Bear is right there. This is cute. Michael went grocery shopping. Old phone. Wow, that's very old. Let's see how this bathroom looks. Cute. Nice. So here we are crossing the Missouri River and this awesome bridge. And so we are driving to downtown to have some lunch at Jack's Ducks. And we wait a whole year to go get Jack's Ducks. You know it's gonna be delicious. for months now we're here there's jack stucks favorite place in the whole world after that delicious food my husband and i had we went to a museum so here we are, the Corinthian Hall. And like every good story has a cast of interesting characters, the story of Kansas City Museum begins with Alexander Long, born in 1850. He came from a well-established Kentucky farming family. He landed in Kansas City, where his uncle lived, and he sent him west to establish himself. After several unsuccessful ventures, he finally made his fortune on the lumber industry. Along with the partner, Victor Bell, the Long Bell Lumber Company was incorporated in 1884. He started in Columbus, Kansas, where he met and married his wife, Ella, a Pennsylvania Quaker. Mr. and Mrs. Long had two children, Sally and Lula, and the family moved to Kansas City, Missouri. In 1907, the Longs embarked on the construction, moving three houses off the property to create a 70-room stone-faced mansion and related buildings that filled the entire city block. Today, the museum's second 
and third floors, once dedicated largely to bedrooms and baths, now host the museum's changing and permanent exhibits. This charming little church you see here is Longview Chapel Christian Church. It grew from the faith and vision of Mr. Alexander Long, a lifelong member of the Disciple of Christ. He believed it was his responsibility as a Christian steward to provide a living wage for his farm workers, as well as to provide them with a place to live, worship, and learn. His giving was a part of his commitment and gratitude to God for all he had received.